Hi, Elizabeth here, and I'm here today to chat a little bit about what I've been calling my antidote to anxiety. And I'm going to share a little bit about just what I've personally been practicing. I woke up a couple weeks ago, you know, in bed, pit in my stomach, mind racing, didn't want to get out, didn't want to stay in. It was that place like where nothing is satisfying and no thought helps. And it just feels like crap. It basically just feels like crap. And having much experience, most of my early 20s with anxiety, and then having many years of not really experiencing it, when it comes in, it's like this alarming, something is wrong. And it usually causes a bit of a panic. I realized, you know, within a few days, I was starting to feel better, but I kind of looked back and I was like, what did I do? Like, I've gotten so natural almost of moving my way through, but what am I actually doing? And so today I just wanted to share with you some things that I've been practicing, um, actually six things. Six is my favorite number. Um, the first thing that I do, which I always get a little nervous to share, um, and I resist this every single time I do it, and then every single time it feels better, but I write a letter to spirit. Um, spirit can be universe, God, intuition. It's basically anything that is you know, deep within you, greater outside of you, that is not just your mind. It has some um, other wisdom going on. And so I write a letter to God, and sometimes I have God write a letter back, and that moment of surrendering it over it, not figuring it out, not having to plow through is an incredible moment of softening for me and then also just a lot of clarity. So that's number one is, is a letter to spirit. Number two is I go to resources that I really trust. And it could be Abraham Hicks, it could be Marianne Williamson, it could be my books on Audible, but teachers and mentors and guides who will bring me back to the truth, basically. And you'll know the ones, everyone has different people or guides or mentors, but they're the people who, when you hear their stories, when you hear them speak, you just relax a little bit and you get a little inspired at the same time. And so for me, I go up into our loft and I pick out all the books or I go on YouTube and I watch some videos or I go to Audible and I go to the resources of the people who are going to remind me of what the truth is and what makes me feel calm, grounded and inspired again. So that's my second thing. The third thing is um, to get in my senses. It's so funny. Years ago, I remember being like, this is so cheesy. This is so boring. Isn't this I'm so sad? Like it was boring to be in my senses, but I spent so much damn time in my mind that I kind of forgot about the simplicity of just, you know, feeling the shower on me or walking through the park and actually seeing the park. Or there's something about when we taste something, when we see something, where we get to drop into the experience of it. And so for me, it's, I feel like this is an art form that I'm just kind of have my toe in the water of, of feeling and being into my senses. And again, there's this softening that can happen. The fourth thing that is just something I've been practicing, and it's similar to being in, feeling like your senses in the moment, but it's more of a mental thing for me is this phrase, be here now. So I have this moment of like, I was noticing when I was so anxious, I was, of course, jumping super forward, or I was jumping yes to yesterday, or way back, or I was all over the friggin' map. And so when I just can say to myself, like, be here now, I can realize that pretty much anything that comes my way in this very moment, I can handle and then hopefully actually enjoy. Number five, a really important one for me to remember and keep practicing is to feel the feels. Oftentimes when I'm anxious, I usually have a really good cry right under the surface or a really good kind of temper tantrum with some pillow throwing, not injuring anyone. But I, I need to move something through. I need to, some emotion has gotten like triggered. It's right there, but I didn't want to let it out. And so it just kind of like stays in this rumbling, anxious place. And so whether it's putting on music and, and moving around and crying, whether it's taking a pillow and kind of just like going a little crazy, you know, again, not injuring anyone, um, whether it's just like, just letting myself feel. My favorite teacher, one of my favorite teachers, Janine Roth, um, she talked about how we were 
like who we actually are is like the sky and then our emotions are like the clouds that come through or the storms or so part of me realizes that if I have daily rainstorms or even thunderstorms then I don't end up holding back and having these hurricanes that just blast through so um yeah feel the feels is really important and then finally and this is the one I'm saying out loud because I really want to commit to practicing it more. I'm really excited about it. I forget about it because I get incredibly serious, especially when I'm doing all the spiritual work, all the transformational work. But one of my favorite things, and I've experienced this so much with my love, like we're so silly. We get to be so silly and so playful. And I almost don't know how to be like that sometimes. Like it's so serious and so in my head. So when I'm, especially when I'm anxious, if I've done some of the other things and I'm still being very like, how are you doing, Elizabeth? You know, I, I've been inviting myself to be silly and be playful and make some funny faces and just be ridiculous and to lighten it up. And there's something about that that just moves things through like nothing else. So those are my six things and I'm practicing them pretty much on the daily and different every day. And I'm feeling a lot better so far. And um, no pressure for myself to feel better all the time though because again I get to practice these things or trust that I will move out of it and I will move through it and so I would love to hear from you is there one you want to try is there one you want to shift and kind of alter to fit you or rename do you want to try all six um, whether you're feeling anxious or feeling good I'd love to hear about them I would love to, to just practice this gorgeous little antidote to anxiety so that there's just more peace, there's more fun, there's more joy, there's so much of that available. And so I would love to practice with you. It's so good to see you. It's so, thank you for having me in your inbox, on your computer, on your phone. It's an honor to be with you and I will see you very soon.